Good morning students I hope everyone is doing well I request everyone to watch my videos in a sequence for better understanding In this video we will discuss about what is a pumping lemma and how to prove it all these things we will discuss so that you will understand or you will not have a fear about pumping lemma I know that lot of people have a fear about the pumping lemma theorem so if you watch the video completely you will lose the fear let me read the pumping lemma what is the use of pumping lemma th is pumping lemma is used to prove that a long wedge is not a regular long wedge what is the meaning if you take a non regular long wedge then it will prove that it is not a regular long wedge so what i can say it is a used for negativity test it will never prove that it is a regular long wedge it will always prove that it is not a regular long wedge means if you take a long wedge l which is not a regular long wedge then it will prove that it is not a regular long wedge so let me read it if l is a regular long wedge and has a pumping length p where p is greater than or equal to 1 such that any string s if you taken from the long wedge l where length of the s should be greater than or equal to p can be divided into x y z must satisfy the below condition what is the condition one x y power i z belongs to long wedge l for i greater than or equal to 0 and the length of y should be greater than or equal to 1 meaning is that the length of the y should not be empty or zero and length of xy should be less than or equal to p i know that with this explanation you did not understand what is the pumping lemma theorem we will discuss now so what they are saying is that if you take a long wedge l and if you are saying that it is a power n b power n where n is greater than or equal to 1 this is the long wedge i have taken if you are saying that it is a regular long wedge okay if it is a regular long wedge that is what they are saying has a pumping length p pumping length p means i will write it as a power p b power p and p is equal to 2 because p should be greater than or equal to 1 so i have taken p is equal to 2 such that any string where length of the s should be greater than or equal to p okay so i have taken that a a b b this is the string i have taken which belongs to long wedge l if you see the length of the string length of the string is 4 the p value is 2 so length of the s is 4 which is greater than or equal to 2 so the condition is satisfied i have taken a string such a way that it is length of the string is greater than or equal to p value and can be divided into x y z the string s should be divided into x y z how i can divide the string a a b b into x y z i can divide into three ways i will discuss all the three ways don't worry when i am discussing the proof let me just just discuss this statement they are saying that divide this into x y z okay divide the string s into x y z so this is my x this is my y and this is my z so i have divided the string s into x y z must satisfy the below condition what is the condition number 1 x y power i z should belongs to long wedge l so if you take this x y power i z where i should be greater than or equal to 0 so if i take i is equal to 2 then i will get generate some string because a a b whole power 2 z i will get some string that string should belongs to long wedge l that is the first condition they are saying and the length of the y should be greater than or equal to 1 meaning is that y should not be empty string okay always the y should be some string should be there it should not be an epsilon okay or it should not be empty length of x and y if you take x and y should be less than or equal to p so this is what they are telling so if it is satisfy all the three conditions then we will say that it is a regular long wedge if it is not satisfying i can say that it is not a regular long wedge now i want to prove the theorem so this is the theorem but i want to prove it if we can prove it then only we say that it is a theorem otherwise we cannot say that it is a theorem so what is the proof we will discuss now now what i will do is that i will prove it using contradictory it is saying that 
it is not a regular language because it is saying that to prove that L is not a regular language. I will consider that L is a regular language. I have assumed that L is a regular language. If my assumption is wrong, then I can say that L is not a regular language at the end. Now we will see I have assumed that L is a regular language. Okay. So that language is A power N, B power N, where N is greater than or equal to 1. Okay. Now I have pumped it into P. So you have to pump it into some P, A power P and B power P. Okay. And then you have to get a string which is satisfying S is greater than or equal to P. So what I will do, I will take P values equal to 3. So I will get A, 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 B, B, B. This is the string I will get. Now if you see the length of the string is 6 and the P value is 3. So 6 is greater than, or greater than 3. So this condition is satisfied. So I have taken the string. Now I will divide the S into X, Y, Z. Now if you see that X, this S string S can be divided into three ways. What are the three ways we will discuss now? One way is that I will take this as X and this is Y and this is Z. Meaning is that out of three A's, one A I have taken as X, two A's I have taken Y and the third way Z is all B should be there. This is scenario one. The second scenario is that I will take all the A's as X, some B's as a Y and remaining B's as Z. This is the second way. The third way is that I can take some a's as x, a b as a y and b b as a z. This is the three ways I can divide. Am I right or wrong? So all the, in the, all the three ways I have divided the string into x, y, z. Now they are saying that must satisfy the below conditions. So we will take one of them. Okay, one by one we will prove it. Now if I take the x, y power i, z. So they are saying that i should be greater than or equal to 0. So what I will take? I value, I will take 2. So if I take I values 2, it will be A, Y is A, A power 2 and Z is 3 B's. Now what is the string I will generate? The string I will generate is A, 4 A's and then 3 B's. If you see that, this is the string we will generate. 5 A's because 1 A is there. A, A is repeated two times. So, A, 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 then three Bs are there. So, it is okay. Now, we will check whether it is belongs to long ways L or not. Now, count the number of A's. Number of A's are five. Number of Bs are three. Now, if you see this long ways, A power N, B power N, where N is greater than or equal to one. Meaning is that the number of A's and number of Bs should be equal. And the second condition is that once all A's are finished, if you get a B, you should not get a A. Meaning is that A, B, A, B. Does it belong to long ways L? People will think that the number of A's and number of B's are equal. If it is not visible, let me write here. A, B, A, B is there. A, B, A, B. People will think that it is belongs to long ways L. No, it does not belong to long ways L. Why? You may think that number of A's and number of B's are equal. But if you see that A's are finished, then B is started then A should not come because it is saying that all A's should be done, then B only should come. But if you see that once the A is finished, B came, then A is coming. So I can say that this string does not belong to long ways L. Okay, these are the two things we can observe from the given long ways. One is that number of A's and number of B should be equal. And second thing is that once you started a B, the A should not come. If you see that even the first condition is not set because the number of A's are here is 5, number of B's are 3. So I can say that this is does not belongs to long ways L. But what it is saying, it belongs to long ways L. So the first condition is not satisfied. What is the second condition? Y should be greater than or equal to 1. Yeah, this is okay because Y I have taken it as 2. This is satisfying. Now xy should be greater than the length of xy should be less than or equal to p. What is my x? My x is a, my y is a, a. So the length of this one is 3 and my p value is also 3. It is okay. 
3 is equal to 3. So, this condition is satisfied. However, this condition is not satisfied because it is satisfying that it is telling that all the three conditions should be satisfied. Now, I will take another possibility because with one possibility, we should not prove it. Let me see another possibility. This entire string A A A B B B I will divide in this way. This is my x, this is my y and this is my z. So, my x is A A, my y is A B, my z is B B. Is it clear? Is it possible or not? Yeah, it is possible. Now, what I will do? Again, I will take i value is 2. So, it will be A A a b power 2 and then b b. So, what is the string it will generate? It will generate a string called, let me write it here. It will generate a string called a a, a b, then a b, then b b because a b should be repeated twice. So, a a is there, a b, a b is there and b b is there. If you see this, it is not satisfying the second condition. Whether it is satisfying the first condition, how many number of A's are there? Number of A's are equal to 4, number of B's are equal to 4. So, the first condition is satisfying. But what is the second condition is saying? Once you get a B, you should not get a A. If you see this, after B, A is coming. So, I can say that the string does not belongs to long base L. The first condition is not satisfying. So, I can say that what they are saying that you have to prove that for all the i values such a way that you have divided this s into x, y, z for all the combinations of x, y, z division it should satisfy. If it is not satisfying I can say that my assumption is wrong. Is it clear? What is my assumption? I have assumed that L is a regular long base. Now, I can prove that L is not a regular long base. So, the proof is that you should do it in a contradictory way. I have taken a long base L and I have assumed that it is a regular long base and I have pumped it into a long base P, okay, pumped length P, okay, and such a that the string, a length of that S should be greater than or equal to P, I have assumed. Then I have divided that string into X, Y, Z. And for all the combinations of X, Y, Z division, it should satisfy. If it is not satisfying for any one condition, I can prove that whatever my assumption is wrong. So that is what I have done. So my assumption is wrong. So I can say that it is a not a regular long base. Now you can ask me one thing, sir, why it should be done like this? Why can't we do another way? So now we will discuss in another simple way. And remember one thing. Any finite long ways, any finite long ways is a regular long ways. Just let me give a small example. Any finite long ways is a regular long ways. Let me take that long ways L consists of strings A, 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 B, B, A, B, B. These are the strings possible in the long ways L. Now, whether it is a finite long ways or infinite long ways. When I can say that it is a finite long base, if the number of strings in the given long base is finite, then I can say that it is a finite long base. How many strings are there? Four strings, which is a finite. So, I can say that the given long base L is a finite long base. So, how can I construct a finite automata? We have constructed it earlier. It is A, B, initial state is Q0. On Q1, on A and B, you will go to final state. Whether it is a DFA or NFA, all these things I will not consider now. I can say that simply it is a finite automata. If you can construct a finite automata for a given long base L, then I can say that it is a regular long base. So, please note down this point. All the finite long ways are regular long ways. Now, what about the infinite long ways? Some inf infinite long ways are non-regular. Let me give a small example. Where, where that is a infinite long base is a regular long base. Let me take it. The smallest one. Long base L, okay, which consists of A power N, where N is an even number. N is even number. So now, what is meant by even number? N value can be 0. N value can be 2. N value can be 4. 
n value can be 6 so on so what how many strings you will get you will get infinite number of strings if you get a infinite number of strings what can i say it is an infinite long ways if it is an infinite long ways what can i prove i need to check whether it is a regular long ways or not okay how i can check it first we'll see what are the strings are possible i will get an epsilon i will get two years i will get four years all these things now, if it is an infinite long ways, what the problem is that if you can represent this long ways in a finite state machine with a finite number of states, what is the problem with the infinite long ways? Why we are constructing a finite automata? Finite automata, we are saying that it is occupy finite number of states so that we can, op we can store it in a finite amount of memory. If it is an infinite long ways, we should find a such a way that we can construct a finite state automata so that it will consist of finite number of states if it does not consist of finite number of states then it is not a finite automata is it clear so now if you see that when i can find a finite number of states something should be repeated am i right or wrong suppose this is my finite automata when i can construct a means when i can find a infinite length of string to be in a finite state is something should be repeated then only it will be in the finite if you see all the examples whatever i have taken in the dfs and nfs you will find some pattern in that one it is repeating if it is an infinite long ways we have found some pattern in that one it is repeating if for any long ways if you does not find a pattern then we can say that it is not a regular long ways remember this point for any long ways, if you cannot able to find a pattern in the string, then I can say that it is not a regular long ways. If you find a pattern, it is not that it is a regular long ways. Sometimes even if you find a pattern, those long ways are not regular long ways. Let me explain. Now come to this one. As it is an epsilon, initial state will act as a final state and a single A, I will not accept on two years i will accept so if you see that i have found a some pattern so i can say that it is a regular long ways and it is a correct dfa for the given long ways because only alphabets are a are they only there so a and a. so we can construct a finite automata so if you can construct a finite automata i can say that it is a regular long ways. if you cannot construct any finite automata i can say that it is not a regular long ways. i hope you have understood the theorem and the proof everything if you really like my teaching please press the like button and share the videos with your friends and subscribe to my channel for regular updates thank you so much